Mushroom season is upon us and there is so much to learn about them. Let's give you guys 25 facts about mushrooms and how to grow the perfect ones too. Yes, that's a mushroom wand in my pocket and yes, I'm happy to see you. How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about mushrooms, how to spawn them, and we're gonna give you guys 25 facts about them. It's gonna be so great. Thanks so much for being here, you guys are amazing. And if you guys have not already subscribed, make sure you guys do so. It only takes one click and we are on our road to one million subscribers. Two videos I wanna point out to you guys really quick. I wanna show you guys the myth busting video that we've shown right over here. This is the video in which I went through and I got all the data sciences to make this video for you. So if you wanna see how the process was, definitely take a look at that. And while you're at it, in the tips and tricks tutorial video playlist, we have the 12 mushroom items and how to get them. Definitely check both of those two out. So for those of you guys that haven't seen the Myth Busting Mushrooms live stream where I hosted the entire thing and I did it live in front of a YouTube audience, this is the setup that I did. You can see over here that we have cedar trees, hardwood trees, fruit trees, bamboo, palm, and money trees. All the different types of trees in the game. And not only that, but we have different circumstances. At the very top, we have patterns all the way around each of the eight squares that are available. And at the very bottom, we chop them all in half. We then time traveled the next day in November to see what kind of spawns we got. And ladies and gents, this is all the information. Okay, so let's get this show started. Here we go. The very first fact that we're going to show you guys is the mushroom season. Now, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that's going to be from November 1st through November 30th. And if you're in Southern Hemisphere, that's going to be from May 1st through May 31st. Now, spawns will only happen during these dates, so keep that in mind. Number two on our list is showcasing all the different five mushroom types. As you can see on screen over here, we have five of them, and the first one is going to be the rare mushroom. Yeah, that thing is super rare, and it's actually called the rare mushroom. We've got an elegant mushroom, and we have a flat mushroom, we have a round mushroom, and a skinny mushroom. There are only five types in the game. For number three, we're gonna teach you guys about the spawn rates and the prices of mushrooms. You guys can see an infographic right on screen over here that pretty much showcases all of the prices of all of these mushrooms. Now, the only thing that you really have to take a look at are the elegant and rare mushrooms, which do have a price of over 10,000 a piece. And if you're lucky enough to get a rare mushroom, that's a big 16K. Now, I have the stars on top of the screen over here simply because it depends on your island rating based off of the different spawn rates. So if you have a three star island, a two star island, or even a one star island, I don't know, I don't even know how you'd do that, but your rates are going to be as such, 35, 30, 30, 4, and 1% for all of the rarest ones. Now, if you have a four star island, your rates are going to be incrementally better with a 30%, 30%, 25%, 10% for elegant and 5% for rare. Now, if you guys put in the work and made a five-star island with all the flowers and trees and outdoor furniture, congratulations, because now you have the best chances of getting the rare mushrooms. With a total of 25% for skinny, 25 for round, 25 for flat, you've got 15% for elegant and a whopping 10% for rares. So, keep working towards your five-star goal and this entire month of mushrooms is going to be yours to capitalize on. Our fourth fact of the video is going to be teaching you guys that there are only going to be a maximum of five mushroom spawns per day. So take a look at where your trees are located at and start picking them accordingly. No, you cannot swap over your character. This really happens as soon as you load up the game. You know those really long black load times? Yeah, that's the game calculating where and how many of the mushroom spawns to put inside your game. For number five, mushrooms are not breedable. Absolutely not. You would think with like wildlife, if you put two of them together, maybe you'll get even more. Maybe if you dig two rare mushrooms right next to each other, you might get a third one. That would be really cool, but unfortunately that's not the case. And for number six, speaking of burying mushrooms, no, you can't plant these guys either. Trust me, I've tried, and I even took it so far as to put a rare mushroom into a golden spot to see what would happen. And it's just like burying any other item. Number seven is teaching you guys that the Nook Miles Islands, if you have a Nook Miles ticket and you want to fly over there, they do not spawn mushrooms by any of their trees. So you are limited to your five per day, provided that you get those spawns. 
For number eight, we're gonna teach you guys about if whether or not the mushrooms can spawn on patterns on the ground. And the answer is no, they can't. If you're like me, you like having invisible patterns all over every single square of your town so that no weeds grow. So if you're going to want these mushroom spawns, you're going to need to kick those away to give space for the mushrooms to grow around the trees. So for number nine and a couple more facts after this one, we're gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do and which trees work with spawning these mushrooms. Now, every single tree has eight squares around it. So you're gonna have to make sure that those squares are clear and free of any debris, any branches, any patterns, just anything like that. So that you guys are ready to get these. So for number nine, can a fruit tree spawn mushrooms? The answer is no, fruit trees cannot spawn mushrooms. Number 10, fruit stumps can indeed spawn mushrooms, believe it or not. Yeah, whenever you chop down a fruit tree, that's actually just considered like a hardwood stump. It's pretty cool. So believe it or not, if you have a whole bunch of trees in your orchards or whatever, chop a few of them down and you'll be all set and ready to go with spawning some mushrooms. Number 11, as far as fruit trees go, you cannot spawn mushrooms on a shaken fruit tree. That just does not happen. Moving up into number 12 is all about bamboo. Can bamboo spawn any of these mushrooms? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Number 13, well, what happens if we actually cut down a bamboo and have a little stump over here, right? We've shown you guys that fruit trees have that. Well, unfortunately, the case is no. No bamboo whatsoever will spawn any kinds of mushrooms. For number 14, in case you guys didn't know, you can indeed bust out the Builder app, and once you do, grab the sand tile, put one tile of sand, and you can plant a coconut over there to make a palm tree. So that begs the question, do palm trees spawn mushrooms? The answer is no. Number 15, okay, so let's chop down the palm tree and see if it spawns anything. Yeah, the answer is still no. So palm trees and bamboos do not spawn a single mushroom. Number 16, I hear you guys, but like, what happens if it's a shaken palm tree? All right, no, stop it, we're done. Palm trees don't work, not even a shaken palm tree. Number 17, here we go. So money trees, right? So money tree is a type of hardwood tree. So you would think that they would be able to spawn some mushrooms. Well, the answer is kind of strange here because it's yes and no. So for number 17, can a money tree with bell bags on it spawn mushrooms? The answer is no. So if you have like a 99K bell bag tree, you may want to plant some other trees instead of just shaking it. Number 18. Now, the reason why I mentioned shaking that money tree is because ironically enough, as soon as you shake the bell bags off of a money tree, that becomes a hardwood tree. And the answer is yes, you can absolutely get mushroom spawns off of a shaken money tree. Number 19, well, what happens if you cut the money tree stump down? Can you spawn mushrooms off of it? And ironically enough, the answer is yes, because once you chop that down, that's just going to be a hardwood stump. And since we've learned from the fruit experiment with the fruit tree and cutting that down, you can absolutely spawn on those types of stumps. Number 20 on the list is all about the hardwood trees. Now you can get these starts from Timmy and Tommy's, same thing with the cedar. So make sure you buy a couple of those because these bad boys are absolutely mushroom magnets. Hardwood trees will absolutely spawn mushrooms for you. Number 21, what happens if we cut down a hardwood tree? Will that hardwood stump spawn? Yes, as we've shown you guys before, it is the exact same coded item in the game as a money tree stump and a fruit tree stump. So yes, it will spawn. Number 22, here we go, cedar trees. Yes, absolutely. Go to Timmy and Tommy's, buy a couple cedar starts and start planting them because they are mushroom magnets. A cedar tree will spawn mushrooms. For number 23, cedar trees chopped down with their stumps will also spawn mushrooms. Number 24, can one stump or tree spawn multiple mushrooms? The answer is yes, they absolutely can. If you literally have one tree in your town, I've done it before, where you have only one stump or one tree that has the ability to spawn, literally as soon as you log into your day and walk over to it, it'll have a whole bunch of mushrooms by it and of course some tree branches too. So yeah, keep that up. Your best bet in order to grow the perfect amount of mushrooms every single day is to at least have two trees. And sure, I'm not telling you guys to go out there and chop down all of your trees, no. Make sure you have two of these trees or two of these stumps so that you guys have the ability to get the mushrooms off of them. 
So last but not least, what are you going to do with all these mushrooms? Well, let me tell you this. There's 12 mushroom DIYs that require a whole bunch of these. So now that you have the entire month of November, go through... Pick as many of these mushrooms as you can. I wish you the best of luck of spawning the rare ones. And then while you're at it, head over to my channel and take a look at this video that's shown on screen right over here, which showcases all 12 of the mushroom items and how to get them within the game. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something about mushrooms throughout the entire month. This is going to be so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If the video helped you out, be sure to please share this video with a friend. If you guys have a Facebook group with Animal Crossing people, let's get them all schooled on mushrooms, yeah? It's gonna be a fun time. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and consider joining, becoming a member. All right, we got lots more science videos coming right at you. Take care.